you know, DJ J3, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, that that means something to me, man, you know what I'm saying? Because them, them boys work hard, man. They've been doing it for a long time, and they still doing it for the local artists. Mm -hmm. They still doing it for the niggas right around them grinding, so, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to them, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, last time, man, you got a chance to chop it up with some Temple, man, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, <clears throat> that's a much radio you know, That's some more awards, man. That was like a big thing, man, because, you know, that shit was, to me, that shit was like BET, my nigga. Because <laughs> 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 it's like, <laughs> you feel me? You don't get that, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't acknowledge that hard work until you somebody, right. you know what I'm saying? Nigga don't, don't, nigga don't acknowledge your grind until you somebody, mm -hmm. but for, for them to, you know what I'm saying? For them to do that, man. That was a big thing, man. DJ Wynn, too, man. He a real dude, man. Yeah, shout out to Wynn. DJ Wynn, man, a real dude, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Success pays off, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I salute them boys for their grind, because you know what I'm saying? Look where they at, and they come right for where we at. And yep. they still doing it for cats like us, mm -hmm. man. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I first met Wynn, it was like, Nigga was a regular nigga, dap me up and shit, accepted my shit and all, man. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas don't be on no bougie shit, man. So it's like, I, I, I love that about them niggas. They still humble, you yeah. know what I'm mean? saying? So that's that's a good thing, and I fuck with that. Man. That's important in the game. Yeah. People you looked up to was uh, rappers, or just um, shit, people, that, people in general. I mean, far, I mean, from the music perspective, period, I always look up to my older nephew. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ghosts, you know what I'm saying? It was like when he got incarcerated and shit, it was like, uh, it's like, damn, like, my dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, my idol gone, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I listen to niggas like Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Trick Daddy all, you know what I'm saying? I like that motherfucking, uh, I like that Master P shit too, you feel me? That Tupac, my, uh, my, my nephews and shit, they be teasing me, like, oh, look, nigga, you don't know nothing about no Tupac, you know what I mean? <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like shit. Yeah, I know about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That music is timeless. Yeah, man, that shit'll never die. That's know? that's the type of music you trying to make, right? Yeah, man. I want something that's gonna stick around like that. Like, nigga, you go, you can go anywhere, anytime, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like years from now, nigga. Yeah. And you put Tupac on right now, nigga, and the whole club would jam harder than any fucking thing that's out right now. That's real. Like a nigga always, it, it would never be another Tupac and Biggie, yeah, bro. Right. Like. And if a nigga even feel like they can do that shit, they sleep. Like you can't, you can't compare it to the to the bar that them man, them. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, said this shit high, man. Super high. Like they said that shit dope high. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like them niggas made it cool to to really just don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like so, that's 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 a big thing, man. And I um, you know, uh, I like that. Uh, I like that a lot of people growing growing up. You know yeah. I like life genus too, man. Oh, like that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I was different too, now. So like a lot of things that other people listen to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really listen to mm -hmm. because, like, like I tell you, I'm an old, I'm an old man, man. Mm -hmm. So I listen to a lot of old school, like a lot of Marvin Gaye, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sir Charles, you know what I'm saying? Marvin Gaye, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's what's that. up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I listen nigga, to like, you just surprised me. <laughs> yeah, you surprised yeah, the hell out of me. Yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? I listen to a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that's what's uh, up, though. Supreme and shit. I listen to the music right from now, from then to nine. Like sometimes, nigga, I might get me, I might be smoking my weed, and nigga, just driving in my own world, and I ain't got nothing but old school, old the gold is going on. Bit, you feel me? I might pull up playing your know, shit. You make me happy. I just, I'm <laughs> in my own world. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like that's a message. Right. Those are songs that you could put on and actually let go from the front. To the back. To the back. Yeah. And at the end, you understand what's going on, like you know what I'm saying. So if you can't make like still to this day, nigga, a cookout ain't a, it's not a cookout without them songs. Well, yeah, oh yeah. Like the chop chop chop. Like, come on, man, that shit get that shit will never die. Mm -hmm. So if I can make something like that, then I feel like I'm doing something. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's worth it. To yeah. Me, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So. All right, now you fuck around and get big. She want the first celebrity hole that you wanna spank is <laughs> Kiki Palmer. Ooh, she's sexy now. I mean, I, I I always had a thing for Kiki, man. We about the same age, man. Oh, okay. You know what I'm so I always bought uh, Kiki Palmer. I got a couple of them, man. Mm. I want Lisa Ray. Like Lisa Ray, what you know about Lisa Ray? Yeah, I'm an old man. Listen, what you know man, about Lisa Ray, man? Buddy? Listen, man, don't nothing get old around. Diamond Players Club. <laughs> Hey man, that's my favorite part of that movie, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Temperatures rising. And then who hey, comes back? Jamie Foxx back there fumbling around with it. <laughs> that's yeah. a classic movie yeah, right there, man. Bro. So, I mean, I like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Eric 
Erica Badu, bro. Man, that, that, that's that, beauty. That puts a change in life right there, bro. <laughs> See what she did to Carmen and Andre 3000, bro. So Kiki Palmer. Yeah, man. Erica Badu. Yeah. And Lisa Ray. Yeah. And Fuck I, one man, one kid, one. Oh, man. That ain't what I'm talking about. That is a fuck one man, one kill one. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. That nigga, that nigga got me over here really thinking, man. I mean, I'm going to marry Kiki. Okay. You going to marry her because why? I mean, we, you know what I'm saying, we got, we about to say, hey, so you know what I'm saying, we got a little time together. Okay. You know, together, you know what I'm saying, and build a little something, something. Uh, fuck one, marry one, kill one. So you marry Kiki. Yo. Uh, well, shit. I got to kill Eric. Oh! Because, because, listen, though, what you say, that, oh. what you say, I go, pussy, fuck you up, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 I need to go ahead and cut that out of the situation, right? You know what I'm saying? Because that little pussy how you going crazy. So you going to make me kill you. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to whack my ass out before we get there. And uh, I won't even use fuck with recently. I think I'll I make love. I'll make love at all. That's the first I ever heard of somebody say, yeah. fuck one man, one kill one. I won't even fuck. I want to make love to him. Yeah, I make love. I think I, I'll play a club. Right? Okay. Too, okay. Because look. Uh, <laughs> Straight to straight to I kill on that. Yeah, man. I think that's just that's I kill on repeat. Yeah, man. But uh, damn, that nigga hit me with a hard one. That nigga say, "Fuck my man, what kill?" And real. Damn. What's your goal in this rap game? Does your goal to be bigger than big as Kanye West and Jay Z, or is your goal to make ten classic albums like a like a nigga like Ti? Ti big, but he yeah. man, he's had a long. Yeah, I mean, for real. yeah, yeah, because he, he, he's living real life. Yeah. So, but I mean, my goal ain't to be like Jay Z or nobody. It's to be like me. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm doing this for to make sure that I can have a better way of living. My family, my kids, my nieces, my nephews. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, trying to get Jay Z money is not an option for me. Like, that's not some word on. I just want to make sure. As long as me and my people straight, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We ain't got to never work another day in our lives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we could do what we want to do comfortably. I'm good with that. Because God has certain things set out for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might have something set out way more than Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. But if I try to chase his money gold, then I'll never reach what God has in store for me. Right. And you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing against him or whatever because he's very successful. And he's, he's motivation to a young black man. But it's like you got to take his motivation and his success and try to better that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. I want to be, can, I just want to be good with myself and my people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's all, bro. I just want to change it, get a better way of living for me and my family and make sure that we okay, you know so, what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> so basically, that's your definition of success. What's your, it, it's not as, uh, about the amount of money you got, it's no, your family has. No, it's about your family, your well-being. I mean, of course, money, money makes things sweeter. It mm -hmm. makes life better. But you could have a million, you could be a billionaire, man, and not be happy with yourself. All right. You could be rich and not be successful because you're not you you in a poor state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, as long as I'm comfortable, man. I want to be I want to be happy with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the only thing. Like, I want to be able to know that my family happy. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in my family got. You know what I'm saying? I care for nothing. Or we good over here. We yeah. do what we want to do. We 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 getting money. You know what I'm saying? We eat. We we surviving. We we Gucci. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We rich. Like, right? <clears throat> but it's. It's, it's not to try to be like nobody else. That's where you're going to fail at. You know what I'm saying? So, it's... My thing in the music is, is to is to make it all worth it, man. To, to get a way out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's the only thing, bro. It's just to get out. You know what I'm saying? It's not to... The message that... See, some rappers, they take the message the wrong way when we tell them. Like, I've been on this corner all day. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been toting this pistol all day. Like, yeah, I've been on this corner all day and toting this pistol all day to get here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't have nobody to just come say, here, money, money, money. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and you got some people that really don't have nobody, period. So they do what they do to try to get where they going. Right. So when you hear us say, we've been on that corner all day with that pistol all day, if you got any mind 
Mm -hmm. Then you'll take that and say, well, I don't even want to get that pistol and get on that corner all day. Right. Because if he had to go through all this on that corner all day just to get to his, mm -hmm. is that the right? You know what I'm saying? Some people got to really check that and be like, is that the way I want to go? Right. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got to go that route, then it ain't the route for you to go, man. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. On your mixtape. Yeah. What's the, the hottest song to you that you want everybody to listen to? Good question. I want everybody to listen to all of them. Yeah. But I mean, if I um, if I had to really pick a song to let you know, mm -hmm. like, to really vibe and get my perspective, it had to be number fifteen. It had to be the last track on on the mixtape because it's, it's can't stop my. You know what I'm saying? It's called can't stop, and it's it's it basically like. Everything that you go through, you know what I'm saying, you just can't stop, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can't nobody stop, you know what I'm saying? Like, then you can hate all you want to, but you can't stop. Can't stop me. Like, you know what I'm saying? This I mean, I wanna be like I said, I wanna you know what I'm saying, you can put in any song and, and vibe out to and ride out to, but it's like that's the one that I think that you'll really know like who Street is. Yeah. You know what I'm At the end of all of them, if you if you take out the end of all them fifteen and you listen to that one, then you'll really know who. You know what I'm saying? I'ma tell you I had to listen to number the, the first cut on the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he fucked up about the intro. Yeah, I like the intro. Yeah. I fucking with the intro. What's next for you? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm in the studio, man, making more music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of more music, a lot of more music is coming, man. More shows, videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to shoot a video, man, to try to get some money. So y'all be on the lookout for that, man. That's going down right now. So uh and uh they say never like showing the move until it's made. You know okay. what I'm saying? But sometimes you gotta give them a little something to wait on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Be a little prepared on. They so need a little like, anticipation. You know this summer, I got my new mixtape coming out. You know what I'm saying? Taxi cab flow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a motherfucker hot man. So you gonna be on the lookout for that. You had the release party then? Yeah, I mean yeah. Um, April 6th, man. We had this um, spot 26. We had the old soul mixtape release party. How it go? I mean, it was it was nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was nice to actually see like, okay, I'm out here. We doing this on our own. Like, we ain't got no sponsors with this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the boy Soldier Skip and Gino. You feel me? They came through and fucked with me. And, and you know what I'm saying? Good performances, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? And people actually, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucking tickets sold out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so what's up. We we sold the amount of free tickets that we sold. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches was showed out. So that's for show people. That was the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people came in and supported me, man, and showed me a lot of love. But when I got on stage, it was crazy, like, because, like, I didn't even have to sing the song. Like, nigga, I was like, y'all saying that shit, fuck. Well, they knew the words. Yeah, like, and it was like, yeah. everybody in that motherfucker was like, singing my shit, like. Now, so, that, is that the best feeling that you've gotten being a rapper? Yeah. The best feeling. That's a great feeling. The, the best feeling about this shit is when you actually could see the, see the reaction on their face, mm -hmm. like. It's like it's kind of how you is when you when you hear your favorite rapper. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like nigga, when I hear that motherfucking gate to that boosted nigga, that old trick nigga, I'm in mean, that bitch. I'm vibing. Right. This yeah. is my shit. This yeah. what I like. You feel me? So it's like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm with that shit. So when you see that shit, when it's not you doing your crowd, mm -hmm. and you get up there and be like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who love me in here? And everybody just scream. <laughs> that shit crazy, man. It, it make you want to do it again. Shit feels good. It's yeah, generally right. It make you want to do it again, man. All right, so look.